Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to, the start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Phoenix Suns. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. And a quick look at how the Suns' schedule is shaping up. On Tuesday, they'll be taking on Klay Thompson and the Golden State Warriors. Then on Thursday, they'll go up against LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Out on the wings, it's Booker and Okoye. Durant is out there with Nurkic oh, that's work, man. and Steele in at the point guard. And for the Bucks, we'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the center, walking down the middle. And Greg, when we tip off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. The screen on Beal at Giannis and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Giannis just doesn't stop working. Plays with great energy at both ends. Excellent work on the boards there. Now here's Booker. KD on the wing. Following the miss by Giannis. Akogi the pass to KD. That one goes in. You know, of all the things Okogie does well, his passing tends to get overshadowed at times. I mean, easy to see how creative he is on this feed. Now here's Lillard. Fires for three. Buries the long-range jumper. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Nurkic. Has to Beal. On the wing, Booker. Nurkic setting the pick for Beal. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Over in the corner, Lillard. And another three for Milwaukee. And that is just too easy for Lillard. A legitimate threat to burn you from the corner. The drive by Booker. Get the shot. And it's Phoenix scoring again. How about three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Beal against Lillard. Over Beal. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Booker outside. Pass to Okogi. Outside, KD. Drills the three-pointer. Durant's got five points so far. Come here. And Come here. so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. They trail by one. Shots good by Booker. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Now oh, here's Young. And the double up on to Kumbo. Beasley dishes to Hunter Takumbo. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's really evolved as a playmaker over the years. Sure, we, we all know how talented a scorer and shooter he is, but Bradley is now superb at facilitating. Now, Booker. After the miss, three from Damian Lillard. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? What's that? Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. To stop the run. That's good on the jump shot. Lillard's got 10. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through. Outside, Beal. To the middle. And the rejection by Andekumbo. Giannis wins, man. Giannis is timing is what makes him a special shot blocker. 
And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. And they didn't hesitate to bring Beal into the mix. The shooting that they all provide is second to none. On paper, they are as talented as anyone. Bucks trail by three. Lillard attacking, and then Lillard slams it in. For the ability to knife inside and convert, Lillard is fearless when it comes to attacking the basket. And here is KD. From past the arc, another three for Phoenix. It's important that you have big men who can shoot in this day and age, and this guy can really stretch the floor. And Milwaukee calls Martin. their first time out of the game. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. the go-ahead bucket. Here's Lee, and Lee with the stuff. Nice read from the veteran Durant that time, recognizing the defense had overcommitted. This is a two out of the Kumbo. A second chance effort. Powers through inside Giannis. He's a guy who can defend the ball and the screener almost at the same time because of that great length. So offenses sometimes go away from him in the pick and roll, which allows him to kind of play free safety on that back line as a rim protector. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Lee outside. And the pass to Durant. Outside Gordon. And the rejection by Anacumbo. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. And Beal gets it to go. No hesitation whatsoever. I, I just love how Beal makes that decision quickly to shoot off the catch. Now here's Lillard. 16 points for him. Durant, the pass to Gordon. No good on the triple. Boy, oh, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. Akogi's checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker comes in for Gordon. Now here's Beal. Booker outside. To the inside. Here's KD. And then Durant with the jam. Durant always ready to throw it down. You can't let him get close to the rack. Now Lillard. He's got 18. Feeds to Giannis. Kicks it out to Lillard. Adekumbo setting the pick for Lillard. And Giannis Adekumbo throws it down hard. How about the flash by Antetokounmpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Milwaukee in the lead. Over in the corner, Green. A 
good on the three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Pass to Nurkic. Booker outside. Connects from three-point range. Booker's got 12 in the game. And we see this so often from Booker because he has the green light to take any shot he wants. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the Suns making a change here as well. Lee's checked in for Kevin Durant. Now here's Washington. Back to Middleton. This one for three. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Nurkic, the pass to Beal, and he comes up with the deuce. Six points for him. And we look now at the Milwaukee Bucks. We got a battle out there after one half a play. Well, I like what they're doing. Play to your strengths. They're getting high percentage looks inside because they're not settling. Yeah, they found a soft spot in that defense. I'm telling you. They keep putting the ball inside. No need to change what's working. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. The big men on the floor for him, Giannis and Portis. Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Bochamp in at the small forward position. So that's who Adrian Griffin starts with in the second half. And the basket is good. Lillard's got the game tied up here for Milwaukee. And if you look at the stats for unassisted jump shot percentage, Lillard can drain those pull-up jumpers as well as anybody in our league. Beal can't get it to go. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. And GA for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long, folks wondered how long he'd languish in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. And here is Durant after Malik Beasley made that last three-pointer. Nurkic finds Durant. And he can't oh answer back the three-pointer offline. Here's out to Takumbo. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. Super quick in transition. The Greek freak jumping down the throat of the defense with that speed. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Bucks leading by five. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. And they're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this end. It would be four in a row for them now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Time out, time and with out. an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. There it is, the first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Alert against Beal. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. Let's take a moment to check out Kevin Durant here. Coming off a terrific season, eighth in scoring, and a top 15 ranking in blocks per game, supplying that backline protection that is so key to a great defense. And back to his free throw shooting percentage, second in the league, I never saw lapses in his concentration at all. Always completely focused, completely automatic. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass really badly in that area of the game. And that's helped them stake this lead. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. A three ball. It's rebounded by Durant. KD's got his sixth rebound on the night. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Nurkic a screen on Beast. For three, Booker. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And the intelligence 
Love watching Booker operate in these situations. His decision-making has really improved over the years. Just rubbing it in their faces with that now. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pen. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Now here's Booker. Bradley Beal unable to get his shot to go. Just five to shoot. And Booker kicks to Durant. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one that has differentiated thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And so here's Phoenix after the basket by Milwaukee. Here's Durant. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Booker against Lillard. And the dunk by Booker. And getting physical with his play. Booker just attacking the hoop. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Over in the corner out of the Kumbo. They get the rebound. Portis can't get it to go. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Gordon. Booker outside for the lead. The rebound by the Bucks. Andre the Kumbo's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Lillard attacking. Up and in on the way. Lillard's got eight points in the quarter. Takes a lot of courage to get in there with those big bodies. And Lillard with no shortage of them. Step back and squared up. Booker's got it all tied up now for the Suns. Just a terrific all-around scoring effort from him. I mean, it's because of that that they're even in this game. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Bucks. He's up to 26 points in the game now. Just keeps pouring in the buckets. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. Here's KD. Sinks the 15-footer. Cutting into that deficit now, well within striking distance. Gordon goes in. Again, Phoenix. And Gordon has the burst of speed you like to see in a guard. Excellent at knifing through the defense to the cup. Lillard against Gordon. Lillard left side. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Middleton with a screen for out of the Kumbo. Driving to the basket. Antetokounmpo slams it in. When Antetokounmpo is driving, he's locked in on finishing no matter what the defense hits him with. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Suns lead by three. Down low, Durant. And finished up by Petey. Well, we know Eric Gordon is a great shooter now, but he is also willing to make the extra pass. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys, here was Adrian Griffith's message during the huddle. He told the players, you guys are too talented to be playing this back of days ago. Push the ball up the floor, get out on the break, and get to the fast break. Guys, we'll see if we can get it done. Okay, David, thanks. Here's KD. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays that the coaches love to see.
And he makes the first, but misses the second. Tough miss at this juncture. They're down two baskets right now. Pass to Katie. Deal with it from deep. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Here's Giannis. Giannis rips it down. You know, feeling very comfortable taking a big shot when his team needs it. That's, an, that's a sign of how Antetokounmpo has matured recently. Booker dishes to KD. For Antetokounmpo. And again, it's the Suns missing. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. And Antetokounmpo sends it in. A big shot. Lopez, a screen on KD. Giannis with it. Now guarded by Nurkic. And they pick up two. Antetokounmpo's got 21. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. And Middleton, the bucket on the assist by Lillard. Lillard's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Look at the Kumbo against KD. And there's the call on Durant. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Lopez is a screen on Beal. Three-pointer in Miller. Drains it from beyond the arc. Suns have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Trying to find Durant. He's got it now. Got it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Well, Durant knows the team looks to him for this. These kinds of moments, the intensity of the moment, never rattles. Second personal foul. Thirteen foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Big trip for Giannis. Normally at the stripe, he's better in the pressure moment. And the Suns call time here. They're trailing by four. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. the first one and that narrows the lead down to just three. Portis he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. So he gets them both. He is absolutely the guy you want at the line in that situation. It just shows you how much he loves these moments. Inside, and to the Kumbo. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Timeout call to Suns. They trail by four. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. is a pick-your-poison matchup for defending. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. No choice but the foul there. He's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. First one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. High stakes moment, but Dane is a high percentage free throw shooter. He knows he's got this. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much-needed breathing room. Two-possession game now. Booker, no good. And that's an intentional foul. Second personal foul. Two is in the back. 
Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. He's a nightly triple-double threat, and I think Giannis is the most unguardable player in the game. And so both free throws are good. That's a seven-point game. For three, Durant. It's money from deep. Nice, unselfish passing there by Bill. He, he knows he can't do it all by himself. So a close game sees Milwaukee taking this one. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. A chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Giannis, you have said in the past you have even more untapped potential. So how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes to help my team win. Did a great job executing, moving the ball. And uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together, and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And